If you're new to the Mac ecosystem, one of the basic things you're going to want to learn is how to use Finder. This is a clip from our larger class called New to Mac. And in today's class, David shows you the basics of setting up your Finder preferences so that the things display the way that you want them to. So let's join the class already in session and learn more about Finder preferences. What I would like to do is show you how to set the Finder preferences and what I tend to recommend. So in order to do that, if you are clicked on your desktop anywhere here, it should say the word Finder here at the very top left corner of your Mac. So what we're going to do is we're going to click here on Finder and we're going to set the preferences. So let's go into that. And you'll notice that in Finder preferences here, we have all of these different tabs up here at the top. So we have general, tags, uh, sidebar, and advanced. I would like you to start here in general. Okay, now what you see here is pretty much what I recommend for most people. Okay, so I would recommend checking these top four. You don't really have to check the hard drive, or the hard disk rather. That's the thing you see at the top right that just disappeared. Okay, um, external disks is very uh, handy to access. Okay, so I would leave all those. And this is a big one right here. New finder window shows what? So basically what that means is that when I open a new finder window, it's going to go to a certain location. In my case, you can see here, it's going to my documents folder. So um, I recommend changing this because when you first get your Mac, by default, it comes on this, which is all my files. The next place I would like to show you here is the sidebar. Okay, so this, as you can see here, by the way, I have the windows arranged, corresponds with what you see here on the left side of my finder window. So uh, if you want, you can take a moment and just kind of check these out here. Um, of course, in the PDF guide that we gave you, uh, you should have an image of this. So you can see here, I chose to unselect all my files. I checked the next one, two, three, four, five, six options here. We're going to skip a few here, movies, music, and pictures. And we're going to check this last icon right here. Now, it's not going to say PCO on your, on your screen. By the way, it says PCO because uh, for those of you who didn't know, Tech Talk America used to be under a different name. We used to be under the name PC Classes Online, and, uh, you know, just the name didn't quite work out. But this should have your name on it, okay? Um, and I would recommend checking that just because it's handy. Um, you might need it at some point, okay? Uh, the next one's here. You can kind of go with it. You don't have to. Um, you can see here, back to my Mac, connected servers, bonjour computers. I'd say for the majority of you, you could probably actually safely uncheck those if you wanted to. Okay, and then uh, down here, I'd recommend checking these bottom three under devices, except for the top one. Okay, again, just kind of handy. Tags, um, you know, some people find tags to be very, very handy, but basically it's a way that you can identify certain types of files and just kind of bunch them all together. So we'll go over that later on. Okay, so as you're going through and you're, you've got all of your settings here, the other thing I want to make sure that you're aware of is you can change how you view each of these. So for example, you may have noticed that here under applications, I have this icon-like view, whereas when I go into documents, I have kind of a list here, okay? So those options are right here, okay? So this first one here, will change it into the icon view, okay? The next one is a list, okay? The next one here that you will see in just a moment, here we go. Okay, so this is really handy. This type of view is great for when you have folders within folders because you can just simply click on that. And a lot of you who have Windows, you're used to that kind of view as well. Um, there's an interesting hybrid as well, which is this one right here. It's called CoverFlow. So when you click on it, you'll get kind of a little preview of what it is in this top part of the window. And you can see kind of a list view below. Uh, I want to give you a little quick trick, okay, so you all know. Um, if you ever need to just kind of take a quick preview of what a file is, like maybe it's a document and you have different versions, you can't remember which one's which, instead of double-clicking on the document and opening it, instead there's a really uh, handy trick. Just simply tap the space bar and see how it kind of it instantly opens up. It's not actually launching the application pages in this case, but you're just seeing a preview of what it is. And actually, if you already have that open, you can use the arrow keys on your keyboard and you can scroll through them. In this case, those are actually all the same. If you're a new Mac owner, basic things like this really can help you get your feet under you. So be sure to check out the hundreds of other classes we have here on our website and on our YouTube channel because I know that there are many more things here that can really help you. If you want to learn more about our special new to Mac class, 
You can learn more or buy a copy for yourself on our website at techtalkamerica.com slash new to Mac. Thanks for watching. Class dismissed.